Hello nieces and nephews, this is Auntie Netta and welcome to my channel. You guys, my mother called me and asked me, can you put something together for a baby shower? And I just, of course, are they having a girl boy? Um, so this baby shower was for a baby boy and I put something quick um, and cute together for my Mimo. And you guys, of course, I had to videotape this so you can um, see how easy and how affordable it is to make a cute, exquisite <laughs> basket without break, breaking the bank. I did say affordable, didn't I? Mm hmm. So, you guys, you can do a girl basket as well. Just switch the colors over to pink. And at the end, you will also see the pink basket. Um, that looks just like this one. So yeah, so boy or girl, you know auntie got you. All right, so check this out. All right guys, to make this baby shower gift basket successful is to make sure you put together like items in the same basket, okay? I picked up these items for three different stores, Dollar General, Dollar Tree and Walmart. Um, this rocket ship, gal I would say just galaxy hooded towel and washcloth set I purchased from Dollar General for $5. This galaxy bottle, baby bottle for $3. And this pacifier galaxy set, I want to say this was three, two or $3 as well. Then I head over to Dollar Tree, and luckily, I thought this was cute. I picked up this picture frame from Dollar Tree. Yes, you guys, Dollar Tree. And it's nice and weighted, so yeah. Seemed like it'll hold up very well. And also, of course, I picked up bows. Instead of using the bow that comes with the shrink wrap, you guys, I decided to use a blue bow. And at Wally World, I picked up this tiny traveler set instead of going out and getting full size bottles because this is a mini basket. Well, it's not really mini, it's a nice size basket, but I think full size bottles would have been a little bit too much for this basket. So I got a travel kit that was like five dollars and I want to say 44 cents, and then I picked up this baby on board um, car sign um, from Walmart for $1.96. And you guys, when I pick up baby shower items, I try to think out the box because um, I know it's going to be plenty of pampers and wipes and outfits there. So I try to pick up items that maybe people don't think about. You get what I'm saying? But you clearly see what the coordinated items are. The blanket, the bottle, the pacifier, and the bows. And everything else is just a little extra, a cute little addition to the basket. So, let's get started putting this together.
You guys, if you want to know how I shrink wrap this basket, feel free to check out the link below in the description box. And I got a step-by-step -step instructional video um, that will give you a flawless shrink wrap on your gift basket. But, you guys, I want to show you how to add this bow. And sometimes I usually have a hole puncher, but I could not find. I think it's... I think I packed it up with my Christmas stuff. So what I'm just going to do is just clip the bowls off where the paper is pep was it perforated? I think that's how you see it, Lord. So I'm just going to cut it instead of turning it because I'm scared I might get a jagged edge. All right, and I'm going to cut off these this little tail up until where the paper starts then we're going to remove the paper from the back to expose the sticky part and I know this is hard but this is a cheap bow so it don't come off easily but I managed to get that one Let's see if I am lucky. Oh. oh, see, sometimes it peels off the actual paper. So let me see if I can grab the sticky part, Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. Y'all bear with me. There you go. All right. Once the sticky part is exposed, then now we'll go ahead and use glue dots again. But sometimes the sticky is not sticky enough to make sure um, um stays on the shrink wrap. So I'm just going to throw some sticky dots on here. As much as I can. All right. So that's like four. I don't know if you can see. See the four right there? All right. So basically, I'm just going to put a bow in the front and put a bow in the back. Let me see if I can get this. camera don't fall. Let's hurry and get this going so it won't fall. Alright. So I'm gonna put bow on the front. And then go on the back. So they can meet. Then after I do that, that's when I give my basket a haircut. I always wait to the end to give my basket a haircut that way I can gauge how tall I want the ponytail if you will yeah. I think that's cute right there what you think that's centered y'all hope so if not ooh, still cute so here are the final pictures 